to me, traveling to any new destination is nothing but what I experienced during the journey. I traveled to Kerala in the month of May and took back something I didn't even know I needed. The laughter that I'd lost, the love I didn't know existed, and the reason I started to travel and document every moment, the memories. Welcome to the first episode of Kerala Through My Eyes. This episode is the beginning of a journey, the newness of a new beginning, and of course, everything in Kerala you must try. It's me, Larissa. Welcome to my channel. Where in the world am I today? I am in the beautiful Kerala. Right now, I'm in Vagaman. That's in Iduki. It's a beautiful hill station. We came all the way from Kochi yesterday during the day. So yesterday was our first day, and today is our second day. I cannot wait to explore Kerala because this is my third time, but I've never explored Kerala that well. And I'm so excited for this trip. I have a great crew. I have some great friends on the trip, and it's going to be incredible. So, what's very special about this trip? Yesterday, we were picked uh, at Kochi Airport in a caravan. We drove all the way from Kochi to Wagaman in the caravan, and we slept overnight in the caravan. And it was such a great experience. The caravan is so 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 good like I, this was the first time i actually stayed in a caravan and this was my experience throughout the day you, uh, viraj already checked it what do you think crazy it's beautiful <laughs> i have not yet gone in so now it's my turn so we are all going to record our first impressions <laughs> Wow, it's actually so good, yeah. It's so spacious, and look at all this. It doesn't feel like a. What's this? Oh, it's a toilet. It's so cute. No, you have to be in the dark. <laughs> okay. Ah, so these are uh, the beds. It's like a bunker, and. Uh, Wow, this is going to be so much fun. So we're going to test if I properly fit in the bed and I do. <laughs> I actually do and it's so comfy. It's so comfy. And even in a moving bus, I'm actually like quite used to like sleeping in a moving bus because I usually take uh sleeper buses and I've taken a lot of sleeper buses from Goa uh to Mumbai and Mumbai to Goa. And uh, this is very comfy, and I love it. I love it so much. Bye bye. The feeling of traveling in a luxury caravan was definitely exciting, and I'm sure you can see it on my face. So right now I'm speaking from inside the caravan and it's been such a great journey so far. I actually arrived at uh, the Kochi airport and from there itself we were picked up in this caravan. Right now we are headed from Kochi to Wagamon which is in Iduki which is a hill station and uh, which has really cool scenic spots and from there we move to Munar. So tonight we'll be spending the night in the caravan which is so cool uh, today's day would be quite simple and sweet uh, not too much to do because it's our first day and from tomorrow onwards we go crazy with our itinerary i'm quite a tropical girl i love the greens the pleasant scent of the tropics in the air and the feeling of being home and Kerala was always on my list to travel to extensively.
I used to do this a lot when I was a kid. I would wave out to everybody uh, from the train and say bye to them. And I love doing that even now. And it's so much fun, like strangers waving back at you. Every spot in Kerala is scenic. And since this was from the first few hours of being there, every spot got me so excited. And just like that, the sun set. And we reached our spot for the night with the caravan. Okay, so it's around 10 p.m. and we finally reached the camping site. It's not a camping site, it's like a caravan site where you can park the caravan and you can, um, I mean, like spend the night. So they're like setting up a fire behind us and this area is quite beautiful. We are getting ready for dinner right now and there's some really yummy barbecue being made. Like, I can't wait to eat. It's so nice and chilly here. I love it. The night in Wagaman was as pleasant as it could get. The bonfire set the mood just right. And all of this was a part of the caravan itinerary. So the barbecue was just snacks and now we have some parotas, the special Kerala parotas and some chicken curry and uh, some rice, some chicken pulao and it looks so delicious. I've already had a bite and I, I love it. Like I've always, um, the hype about the Kerala parota is actually like so real and so apt because I love it. I'm actually so full from the barbecue, but this is too good. Good morning from Wagaman. Wagaman is such a pleasant hill station in Iduki. Surrounded by the lush green meadows and spectacular views, it's also known as the Switzerland of Kerala. set up right outside the caravan it's actually a carab bus it's really like huge and we have the breakfast table by this view this is so pretty so this is the entrance of the bus of the caravan and uh, you will be surprised This is the caravan and uh, these are the four seats and you can sit here during the day whenever like you want to lounge in and uh, these are also like recliner seats so it's pretty nice. Uh, there is like a microwave and there is a fridge as well and there's an induction so you can even cook in the caravan. Uh, there are cabinets here, uh, there are cabinets here as well and there's a really cute little uh, bathroom and a toilet. And this is the most cutest part, the bedroom. So it's like a bunker with two beds, like one on top and one on the bottom. And with a view, look at that. And after a splendid night and morning in Wagaman, we head towards Munar with the most beautiful views. So we are on our way to uh, Munar from Wagaman and uh, the views are incredible. It's quite a bumpy ride but the views are so nice. The weather is so pleasant. On the right hand side there are a lot of pepper plantations. On the left hand side there's a lot of coffee. I wish I could get some coffee though. <laughs> it's incredible. 
Look at this. You know, I strongly believe that the journey is so much more beautiful than the destination and this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is my most favorite part about traveling, the journey. You know, like from going from one place to another, the roads, the views, the feeling, the vibe, everything is so nice. This particular tea estate was the first estate I witnessed during my trip exactly why I look so excited. And what's a journey without some pit stops like these? almost been five hours since we're traveling and uh, we're almost reaching Munar I think in one hour more uh, but the view has been great 2000 meters above sea level and visibility is almost just 10 feet it's crazy look at this it really feels like uh, our car is in the sky and we are in the clouds The road from Vagaman to Munnar is heavenly. The diverse landscapes do not even let you feel the five-hour journey. So we've reached our location finally and we are headed straight to lunch because we're, we're late. I don't have my watch but it's late. So let's go. It's so cold you know, I didn't expect it. I'm excited because I love uh, South Indian food, I love Kerala food. This is so cozy, I love it already. It's so cozy. I could like stay here for four to five days, just do nothing. Ah. This is uh, tuna prepared in Kerala style. I've never had tuna in Kerala style before. And uh, this is my rice and a lot of other things also. Raw banana. Oh, it's so good, yeah. It's so good. Wow. It's so good. Now everybody's stealing my food. <laughs> Such good flavors. And for dessert, we have the very famous paisam. This is one of my favorites always. I love this and I cannot wait to try this especially here in Kerala. Mm. Mm. What is this guy? This particle? What is this? Just eat it. Yeah, just, eat it. just eat it. This property is so beautiful. We are surrounded by the fog right now. And this is my room. I'm going to give you a room tour. Welcome. So this is the bathroom. It's so cute. There's like a room divider. You know, I have this in my house. But this is so cute with the cloth. You cannot miss the view. It's 
so gorgeous. <laughs> and sometimes you have a ghost visiting you. Right. Hello, sir. Drone operator at your disposal. <laughs> And after two full days of commute and our introduction to Kerala, we retired for the night to only prepare for a fun-filled itinerary for the next few days. And this is how we end episode one of Kerala Through My Eyes. Coming up next is another day at Munnar with some local interactions and the most beautiful views of Munnar.